I want to introduce myself. I'm uh, Grant Wall. I'm running. The death of prominent American soccer journalist Grant Wall is sending shockwaves through the sports world after he collapsed while covering the World Cup in Qatar. Suddenly, colleagues to up to my left started shouting for medical assistance. Um, obviously, someone had collapsed. Witnesses say Wall went into distress in the press box during extra time of the quarter match final between Argentina and the Netherlands. The medical team were there pretty quickly. They were there working with him for about 20, 25 minutes before uh, he was removed to hospital. Earlier in the tournament, Wall attracted attention for wearing a rainbow t-shirt to a game in support of 2S LGBTQ plus rights. Same-sex relationships are illegal in Qatar. Wall wrote on his website that security guards detained him for 25 minutes and he was told his shirt was political and not allowed. He was eventually let into the stadium. Who else would really feel compelled to do something like that? Colleagues say Wall will be remembered for his strong moral compass. Despite his love of soccer, was never content to just love the beautiful game or be a violin player for the beautiful game. He was somebody who always wanted the game to be better. U.S. Soccer wrote in a statement, Grant's belief in the power of the game to advance human rights was and will remain an inspiration to all. Every World Cup. Before he began writing about soccer exclusively, Wall worked at Sports Illustrated. He wrote the iconic Chosen One cover story about LeBron James, then a high schooler, in 2002. Me being a teenager and him covering that, it was... Um... It was a pretty cool thing. It's a tragic loss. It's an it's a, it's a unfortunate um, uh, you know, to lose someone as great as he was. In the days leading up to his death, Wall said he had visited a medical center in Qatar. Also writing on his website, my body finally broke down on me. Three weeks of little sleep, high stress and lots of work can do that to you. An exact cause of death is not yet known. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.